Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking process video for you. I'm working with a file from the cut shop today, and I'm also using a bunch of different shimmers paints. So I'm starting out with a piece of white cardstock that I've already applied some um, gesso to to give it a little bit more uh, meat. It will hold on to the paints a little bit better and not let the paints soak into the paper. This will allow me to be able to move the um, packaging tech using the packaging technique it helps me move the paint around a little bit um, rather than um, having it just soak right in using that gesso just really makes a huge difference so I've applied gesso ahead of time and I'm adding I let it dry and now I'm adding my paints over the top so I'm starting out I think with some pink um, uh, creamies it's called very hot and then I'm adding some pretty in pink which is a colorings product um, which is a spray ink I'm adding that also I'm mixing a couple of different pinks together a couple of different greens together a couple of different yellows together etc this blue is an inklings product it's called oaky bear blue and I just love it, it has a ton of shimmer to it a little bit more shimmer than the creamies products have and so what I did is I started out with um, the idea that I was going to place this behind a cut file and I want to use the Paige Taylor Evans um, pick me up collection so I am matching I went ahead and looked through my shimmers paints and matched the colors up so that it would match no matter what I end up doing exactly. Um, I knew I wanted to use the Flutterby cut file from a cut shop. It's fairly recent, new to the store. It um, is a circle of butterflies. And I'm gonna tell you, I went ahead and I cut it once and it was a little too small. And so I recut it a little bit bigger and um, I end up using a little bit of both of that on this layout. You'll see as we go here. So I'm using the packaging technique, which involves basically me spraying or applying some of the watercolors to the pa to the package. Um, it's a piece of packaging like from thickers or something like that. And then I'm flipping it over and smooshing it down on the page. This just makes it look a little bit more abstract and you don't see brush lines and things like that. Um, I do apologize, I'm kind of doing some of that off camera, adding, adding the paint at least to the packaging, but really all I'm doing is um, using my brush to apply some to the packaging and then flipping it over. Um, or I might be spraying if it's one of the spray inks. So um, as I go, I'm just going back and forth, um, adding some splatters, adding some um, paint using the packaging technique, going back and adding some more splatters, and so on and so forth. So the colors that I'm using, um, the pinks are Berry Hot, which is a Creamies product, and the coloring's Pretty in Pink, which I already mentioned. The yellows are Daffodil, which is a Creamies product, which is the lighter yellow. And then I'm also using Dandelion, which is another Creamies Shimmers paint. And it is um, a little bit darker mustard kind of yellow. Um, Oaky Bear Blue is an Inklings product. Um, and then my greens are Luck of the Irish, which is a Creamies product. And then Froget Me Not which is a Vibes, and Velveteen Green, which is also a Vibes. So I used kind of three different colors of green there. And what I, my, my attempt here is to get the colors uh, throughout the page. That one right there is the Frog Get Me Not. Um, get them throughout the page, uh, around kind of in a circle, but I'm leaving, I'm not leaving the middle empty. I want the middle of my circle to also have some color in it. So the Creamies and Inklings products, you have to add water to when you get it. They come to you dry and you add water. So you've probably seen me spray some water into them. And, um, and then you let it sit for a little while and it becomes um, more of a liquid. And um, the color um, gets darker the longer you let it sit. So, 
Okay, so now I've got the 6x6 pad by Paige Taylor Evans called Pick Me Up um, Collection, and I am using my cut file, which I just love. Isn't it just so cute with the, the butterflies are just adorable? And so I'm using that cut file and the papers to apply um, the same colors, like blue where the blue is. So I'm using some blue to um, back the file in that area. And I kind of, for the most part, end up making that happen. So there's the cut, there it is all finished, it's backed. I used a couple of different, I used the two yellows, two greens, two blue, navy kind of blues, two pinks, and then two that are more multicolored that actually have butterflies on them. And then my picture is a picture of my daughter on our recent trip to Gulf Shores, Alabama, where we, um, she got to experience the water for the first time and her hands are up in the air, almost like she's flying. And so I thought it kind of fit the whole idea of the butterfly theme. And then my title will be Fly High, um, Sweet Girl. So that also um, kind of adds to that idea of, of butterflies soaring in her position in the photo, which you'll be able to see a little bit better in the close-ups. So I found this paper, it is from the 6x6 pad, um, and it has a whole bunch of different shapes with words in them, and it's all the same colors, of course. So I cut some of those out, and then I have the, the 2x2 pads. One is just, this one right here has a bunch of quotes on it, which are great for cards. Um, I'm using it and cutting some of the words out to use just around the page, and I'm trying to use the same colors. And I'm placing um, the word phrases um, on the same place as the same with the same color, if that makes sense. So now I'm looking through the other two by two pad, which is more pattern papers, and I found this cute little flamingo, and I thought, mm, we're at the beach, I can use a flamingo, right? So I'm gonna add that little flamingo um, to the upper left butterfly there. So that's pretty much. The idea is I'm just going to keep cutting out different um, items from that pattern paper, um, the 6x6 six six paper, I guess, and um, placing those word phrases around. So some of the phrases are like joy, smile, um, turn it up, vacation vibes, love much, love you, nice, happy place, and... Um, I even find, and I don't think I've done it yet, I even find one of the pattern papers um, has, oh wait, before I tell you that. Um, so these uh, are from the first cut file that I cut out that was too small. I cut that out um, and then I cut the butterflies off of it and I layered them over the top. Does that make sense? You'll see it a little bit better in the close-ups. So that's how I used the cut file that I'd already, and I saved those butterflies and I'll use them on another project. So that last phrase that I just put out there that says my happy place, um, it's right above the picture right now. It does get moved, but that um, was actually on, I don't know what you call it. You know, it's like the branding strip of a paper, but it's in the six by six pad. And so, and it said my happy place. And I thought that was perfect because she certainly was very happy in, um, at the beach. Okay, so I kind of have a good idea of my placement, and now I'm going to start adding a little bit of thread. I decided there at the last minute to add two different colors of pink, um, just for a little variety, and also it just looks, it makes it almost look like it's a completely different color when you put them together, which sounds weird. It must be some sort of optical illusion, but it totally works. So I'm adding some tangled thread in a couple of places underneath a couple of the um, butterflies and then I decide that I like this hello one of the reasons I chose it was because of the yellow and so I still wanted the yellow but it was a little too blocky for me so I decided or a little too big or something so I decided I would fussy cut around the hello but leave a lot of yellow around it so I end up doing that and I like the way that looks much better so now I'm ready to kind of start um, gluing some things down but I am a person that I I lay everything out first and then I usually end up taking things off um, and so that I can glue it down but I really liked the placement so I didn't want to take anything off so I'm just kind of picking 
picking up the cut file a little bit in spots and adding glue underneath it. And then I'm also adding, um, there were, I don't know what, what it was called really, but it's a, it's from the pick me up collection. There were these little butterflies and little like sequins. Um, they came as some of the embellishments. And so, um, I used a few of the butterflies from that. And I think I ended up using some sequins from that by the end here. So I grabbed, um, some foam adhesive. Well, actually it's, it's just craft foam from the store. I grabbed some of that and I went ahead and I put it behind some of, like, I think I put it behind Hello and a couple of the other phrases, phrases just to give it a little uh, dimension, stand out a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my title. I found two different color or two different types of gold um, in my stash that I have. And I, I can't even tell you where I got these. I just have all my gold um thickers or alphas together so and I'm making the fly high two different fonts I like to switch up my fonts when I when I do titles with more than one word usually and so um, I went ahead and did that one is kind of a shimmery not shimmery one is just kind of a, a a gold there you go you can see it a little bit better I also added some stitching on some of the butterflies and across um, some of the phrases as well. So one is more of a uh, glitter. The fly is a little bit more glitter and high is is very um, shimmery, but it's um, not glittery. It's more just regular gold, I guess, but it's not matte is my point. <laughs> so now for the last touch here is I'm just going to add some um, enamel dots throughout and I'm matching the colors up just like I did with the phrases I'm matching and the and the butterflies for that matter I'm matching the colors up so that it's kind of color blocked across the page and that is about it it's about all I have left I think let's see I did tell you about the stitching right I did some stitching through some of the phrases through the title and then um, I added it I stitched down the middle, the centers of the butterflies that have two layers to them. And then I kind of went crazy here with all these enamel dots. I have my enamel dots all together now. I used to do everything by color and I still kind of organize things by color except for a few things I have kind of pulled out. Enamel dots are one of those and those are just um, in a couple of different containers, like a four by six iris box um, that I picked up at Michael's. And I have them all together and it's easy then just to grab. There's that sheet I was showing you that um, had the butterflies on it and then it has these gold sequins that I actually attach here. And I don't remember, it, it came from the Pick Me Up collection, that's what I can tell you. I don't remember what they called it. I call it little doodads, but <laughs> I'm sure that's not what the technical word is. So the close-ups are coming. I hope you enjoyed um, my layout and my process. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I will link below all the different Shimmers products I use, and the cut file will also be linked below. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and I will see you in the next video.